So today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can add some drain back oil holes for your LS style factory pistons, aftermarket pistons and then come with these. Some people add three, I add two. Uh, this is an LQ9 piston but this will work on 5.3 and 4.8. Now what I got here is the drain back holes and they drilled all the way through. And you do not want to drill on the support bosses here. This area you want to come out about in this area here and drill on this gut. You don't want to drill anywhere near this. So now that I explained that to you, the tools you will need, let's go ahead and show you. You will need either a drill press or a hand drill. This one's been very good to me, but as you can see, it's, it needs a new top, but it works. It's good enough. It will do the job. It's a Black & Decker. Depending on your year of piston will depend on the size of this. You will need some drill bits. You can buy you a drill bit set and it should come with enough drills bits to suit your purpose. So you do not want to drill here or here. Do you want a drill bit that will fit inside here with a little bit of movement and not really touch the sides. But if you touch the side a little bit, it's fine and it won't be the end of the world. As these is slanted, you can see a taper in. You just want to make sure you ain't got no buzz or anything that will catch your wing after you drill. So, that being said, get you a drill bit. The size of this drill bit I am using is... I don't know. And I don't have the top for my drill bit, so I will tell you guys. But the size is just get you a couple and uh, try them. It's, it's pretty small. You can see I can move it side by side. So next you will need a Sharpie and a tape measure. That'll come in play in a second. And some grease. The grease is optional. If you're going to take your pistons completely down and they ain't press fit, you really don't need the grease. I still use the grease and I will be taking these pistons completely apart before assembly. Giving them a once over, super good cleaning with carburetor cleaner and oil them up good. So I ain't too worried about it, but I still use the grease. So the first thing you want to do is you got two grooves here, one here, one here. Take your tape measure, and I found on this LQ9 piston, it's uh, for a four inch and 100 bore. So it's a four inch piston, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four inch, if you want to be technical about it should be so if you take your little uh, tape measure and lock it in right here on this little spot turn the piston around just like so hold it and you come over one inch and one eighth on this LQ9 piston depending if you got 4.8 or 5.3 it will be different just so you know this measurements always working on my LQ9 piston I don't know if it'll work on yours So we open the sharpie, here's one inch and one eighth, right here. And you see we're, we're a good little ways away from that boss. So let's come over here. Do the same thing to this side. Inch and one eighth. And they don't have to be precise, guys. You know, it's drain back holes. If you picky, then it can be. And then my gap is pretty well. You put it here and here. A little bit over one eighth between the dots. But, I don't know, it looks pretty good. Double check. It seems I kind of missed that one. There we go. So now I'm going to flip this over. Be gentle with it because you don't want to uh, kind of wipe away your sharpie marks because on this aluminum and you just got done cleaning your piston. Hit, hit, don't stick pretty good guys. And just to show you what I'm going with at the tape measure, it's right here. Right there. Inch and one eighth. So that's what I call it. I don't know if that's technically what it should be, but it is. The next step is take you some grease 
and you want to put it inside here of your piston right down in here and then you need to clean all this back out too but as you drill this will catch any other aluminum that goes inside this grease wheel and you can just wipe it away and it will keep it out of your whisk pin here the last thing you want is the aluminum dancing around in your motor especially if you got your pistons out and you replace them bearings and wings and whatnot so now we got that you can uh, lock this into a vise too you want or two boards or something to hold it steady if you're using a drill press you know it's a soft vise or something clamp it down just make sure you don't hit the edges here but i'm using a hand drill and i'm doing it on the kitchen table yep because it's cold outside and uh i'm not going out there and uh getting cold for a set of pistons i can just do on my kitchen table so we got the drill tight we got it going forward so get somebody to hold your piston or clamp it down i got a volunteer here just move it here and you want to take your time when drilling and make sure you get centered now i'm just showing you that you don't need a drill press you can do it by hand let's get this right here and go straight down take your time get it started And you don't want to put heavy pressure down on this guys you want to just lightly pressure it Just like so. Then you can take and pull your drill bit out. What y'all left with is one hole. And you can see we did touch the edge just a smidgen, but I'll show you how to fix that. That will not hurt it. As you can see, we haven't even got an edge here. It's got a big gap in it. So don't panic if you do that. You just don't want to kill your upper compression wing here thing, which if you notch it that little it ain't gonna be the end of the world in my opinion let's turn around here and do this side and this in here as you can see the grease did a great job of catching the aluminum that came through so we set this down here and drill another hole I went a little faster on that one guys but take your time because if you do hit this right here it can leave a spot on it but as I said before it's not end of the day if you can see I nicked this in just a little and I took a file just a fine little file to that little spot right there and cleaned it up so I'm going to flip it over and do the other two so what I like to do is just take something and put in these little holes here and pretty well clean them out so when I wipe the grease from the back side the hose is pretty well clean you probably have to take compressed air and boil out the hose especially if you uh, use grease because even though uh, you can take a paper towel and wipe them it still pushes grease back into them holes so compressed air and some carb cleaner or brake clean We'll uh, clean that part out. Let's just go ahead and wipe all this metal shavings and stuff out. So I'm going to take this outside and spray some brake parts cleaner on this. I don't care to drill the piston in the house, but I'm not spraying it inside the house with brake clean. So what I'm going to do is spray all this metal off of it and stuff. And then we'll go to the next uh, step of this video.
So I went ahead and sprayed this with brake cleaning. If you can see, we did a great job on the drain black holes. They still do need a little cleaning inside the grooves do. But uh, all in all, it's looking extremely well. So next step is check it for buzz. And I touched it just a little right there with the drill. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. Get you a set of files. I use a round file and it kind of fits in this groove. I got another one that fits extremely well inside that groove. I'm just going to ride the edge of that groove here. Light pressure. And if you look real close, it kind of knocks down that edge of that bud that we had where we touched it. Just, just light pressure, guys. And then you can take a flat file or a fingernail file and get in the... So I'm going to turn it over to this side as well. A fingernail file also works great. You can get just like so. Make sure there ain't no buzz on that anywhere. It works even better than the file I showed you most of the time. It just takes a little longer. And uh... You don't take off too much material. See, right here. Let's go ahead and send out a little bit more. Trying to do this on camera is kind of hard. Let me set this down. So we went ahead and just lightly filed that with the bigger file. You can see it knocked it pretty well perfect down. So we take a little fine fingernail file. Or if you just got a regular finer, you know, flat file, precision files and stuff like that, you can just take that to it and it's pretty well about gone. Now I ain't gonna be able to take this an all the way out without taking too much metal off. Just shouldn't affect this piston. But uh, these pistons got a coat of oil that always got them coated anyway. It's like them it's beveled in here too for this oil wing to catch that oil. So just clean these up a little bit better. Like so. Check it for buzz. Then you can test fit your wing in it. And it shouldn't have no catches as you spin it. Should be pretty good. Now I'm going to soak this piston for a few more seconds in my uh, chemical soak. Because these pistons are pretty well dirty if you ain't seen one. Hits the whole reason we are doing this. Is because look how gummed up these are. These are a mess, and these are the two best ones out of eight. And I done gotten a bunch of them cleaned up. But that oil don't have no place to go in the front, so it just runs here. And it cakes up on this wrist pin here. And then this wing, over time, starts to stick, and it's just oil consumption. You know, it can't do its job that it needs to do. It just builds up. So, easy fix. So this is what the piston looks like like after the chemical soak it looks pretty good guys it does got some staining up though but oh well looks extremely nice now uh if you got a press uh pin gen 3 type you know this is gen 4 so 
it's actually bush so I can actually uh, take this pin out and this symbol is for cleaning but uh, what that does that that greasing uh, keeps that metal from getting into your whisk pin and stuff but if you can't take your uh, pin out you want to make sure that you clean this extremely good compressed air soaking in oil tons of carb cleaner just make sure there ain't no metal in there you don't want metal into your engine now I probably will tear these completely apart clean them up a little bit better you know getting the gunk out of the wing grooves and stuff before I re-wing this uh, probably put new bearings most likely in these since I do got new bearings and wings I don't see why I would keep the old uh, bearings anyway as you can see they look extremely good though but I'm going to tag this even though we're changing bearings this is still going to go back and seal on the four just give it every chance of life as we can right here this in number four and uh yeah we should be good to go the holes look great yep no buzz on them let's add it to the other ones so this is number six we just set it right here guys in my little tray and then we got two more to clean up so if you want to know how i make my pistons look uh, pretty much almost like new in the description below i will uh, drop a link or you can check my channel out and i'll show you exactly how i clean these ls pistons up step by step if uh, you enjoyed this video found it helpful drop a like leave a comment be sure to show your support from my channel by smashing that subscribe button i try to upload a video daily so check back every evening should be something new on even if you don't get a notification i'll see you next time thank you for watching this video